Houseplan friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I'm so happy you decided to join me because I want to talk about one topic about houseplants that I don't see many plant tubers to talk about. So I just want to talk about it. <laughs> so I have five houseplants that I want to talk about. Every single plant will have a very different reason for not liking it or for being disappointed in it. So I think you should enjoy this video because I know how much we love and appreciate our houseplants, but at the same time, it's life. It happens we when we just start hating some kind of plants, when we start do not liking some specific houseplants in our collection. And today will be the day I'll be talking about five of them in my collection. Rocky, stop licking your butt. Kids, he's out of breath for licking the butt. Wild. <laughs> okay, so I have five houseplants. Every single one of them are from different uh, genesis, from different varieties. So there is no specific orders. Every single one of them have something that really bugs me. So. Let's let's jump straight into it, right? First off, I have a house plant that I ordered online and I bought it from a shop that I trusted with all of my heart. The shop is called Cambrinas Gelas in Lithuania. It's in Vilnius and this is a house plant store that has a very nice owner who is just so so always welcoming and so uh, she loves to talk with people about plants and that's what I love about her but this specific houseplant was listed in her shop as Epipremnum Pinatum Cebu Blue and I was like oh my gosh no flipping way Cebu Blue sign me up I'm buying this thing so I wrote her I reserved this plant I got it I unboxed it on the camera and I was like it's not a Cebu Blue it's a simple green Epipremnum Pinatum and I remember I was doubting myself but I still uploaded that video and lots of you told this is not Cebu Blue so I wrote the owner and she was like oh yeah it's not a Cebu Blue and I, was, and I was like but you did say that that was a Cebu Blue plus she used a filter on a picture of a houseplant so it really looked blue so this is a plant that really disappointed me and not because of its own fault but you know of the all the circumstances but what the heck i kept it right i did not ask for money i did not ask for you know exchange or anything i just went with the flow and it was growing pretty fine everything was fine but then the winter came and all of these uh, trails were becoming very leggy and the leaves were just falling off of it so i decided to cut off every single branch on this plant and guys it's been maybe five months and in those five months nothing happened you see these new growth points right every single one half one but nothing grows out of them they just stays that way as you can tell this branch right it just keeps on coming without leaves and it this this is so sad this plant is looking really sad so i might report it because it's still in its nursery pot and that might be one of the problems but this plant just keeps on disappointing me and i still keep on holding to it because actually i just noticed it has a new leaf which is pretty awesome but at the same time, I'm like, come on, do it, do something. I am giving you all. Why in the world do you need to be so disappointing? <laughs> this is one of the lessons to not always trust pictures you see on the internet while ordering houseplants because sometimes you will be disappointed. Let's talk about another houseplant. This one I bought in a physical store. This store is called Jules Total in Vilnius and i was so excited when i got it to remember my mexican pot that i painted myself in one of my videos and i planted this gorgeous gorgeous cacti inside and i was like oh my gosh this is such a vibe am i right just look at this whole this mexican mexican style with those cacti it's just like oh chef kiss right but i noticed that one specific cacti started to brown and this happened only when I repotted it maybe after a week when I got it so it's not my fault I could not kill this guy in one week it's impossible okay 
So I started to look closely into this plant and oh my gosh guys what I discovered. So I've never ever seen this thing happening in any house plant but this specific cacti when I got it it already was rotting. The weirdest thing that plant sellers decided to do is to paint the rotted part green paint. Can you I just I just cannot just okay. I did not notice this, but if you will look close enough in here, it's green paint, guys. I'm, I'm so sorry if the camera isn't showing it off, but this specific part is green paint, guys. Oh my gosh, so I bought a rotten cacti. It was dying already, but just only painted on top with green dye. So I'm mind blown. I'm mind blown guys. Can you believe this thing? I mean, I paid money. I actually bought it with a mealy box. I asked for a discount because of a mealy box. I took care of the mealy box. No mealy box here, right? But it's rotting. So I actually want to ask for your help since I know that a lot of people, a lot of viewers on my channel know stuff about cacti, right? I just want a little help for you guys. So you see this this specific cacti, right? It's browning, it's getting dark, but all of the rest are kind of fine, maybe kind of. So right now I am debating, should I cut this part and propagate the top and save it? Or should I keep the way it is and maybe everything will be all right? Because I really do not want to separate this trio. You know, it looks so cool with, when they are all three together, but I don't know. What would you do? Okay, so this is... This is another disappointing story. It was it was so frustrating when I saw this paint happening because oh my gosh, oh my gosh, lies are everywhere, guys. Everybody's lying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, let's talk about another house plant. This one is from a plant swap. Another place when you where you can get a house plant and you would think, oh my gosh, what could go wrong? You can inspect house plant before getting it from another person and all of this stuff, right? Okay, L let me tell you what can go wrong. So this is oh my gosh, I forgot the name. Brain fart. I will leave the name on the screen. Oh Jesus. Anyway, so this is a house plant that I uh, was really really wanting because the lady that was giving it said it was very old it was about 20 years old houseplant it was in a big big pot and I was like oh my gosh the root system must be awesome on this houseplant and it itself will be growing like crazy and I'll be a happy plant mom with it with this old dinosaur well no no everything was alive and this is so annoying <laughs> So when I got this plant, I bring it home, I left in my home for maybe a week before I decided to repot it. And when I did, I think I did this on camera as well, I just took this plant off the huge pot and there were no roots. Zero roots, not a single root on this plant. So this was just a simple cutting put in a huge pot pot and it looked like it was old it was it looked like it was growing there for years and i have been scammed so this houseplant still doesn't have any roots and it's been a year from the, the from the swap i think so i'm not sure what i'm doing wrong but it's still alive so i'm really confused about this houseplant right now actually it's pretty cool uh, colored because it's been green all of the time but right now since it's standing on my balcony it's have this awesome burgundy color, you know, pretty dark color, so this is cool. But at the same time, this house plant was a little bit disappointing because when I got it, I thought, oh my gosh, it will be such a cool old dinosaur with huge roots and healthy plant. It wasn't. It wasn't, and it's still not. So I'm not sure how this will go. I actually had to cut off at least five leaves from it. It was so much bigger, but it just keeps on disappointing <laughs> and there will be more reasons why houseplant can disappoint you let's get to the reason number four let's get to the houseplant number four i already talked with you about this houseplant this is a variegated monstera that i got in a plant swap slash i paid 
25 euros for it and it was a one leaf cutting which was growing pretty fine but then uh, trips attacked it and I think it was standing still for a, maybe half a year and finally it started to put out new growth and I already have two new leaves just look at that variegated monster guys <laughs> how variegated is it right so this is like a lottery to be honest when I was buying this house plant I knew that this is you know pretty risky purchase because look at this main leaf it's actually a little bit uh, sunburned uh, my fault but it had variegation right the stem of the leaf from the side looked gorgeous the stem of the note had variegation as well so I was really hopeful and I was like oh my gosh okay this is it this is it this will be my first variegated monstera that will keep alive because I killed two let's not talk about it when I got that two previous monsteras I actually was pretty new to the houseplant so this is completely different story half a whole video about it on my channel if you want to scroll down my search anyway 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 so this is a houseplant that really disappointed me only because it doesn't have any variegation so the first leaf actually okay where was it had a little little variegation on the very top of this leaf right so it's very tiny it's almost cannot you almost cannot see it right but I was hopeful, there still was a little tiny bit of this variegation, but on the very newest leaf, since it's already hardening up, and you can see that there is no variegation whatsoever. So this was a very risky purchase of mine, and it wasn't successful. I mean, I'm still happy to have a healthy, beautiful uh, Monstera, right? It's very nice Monstera, Borsigiana actually love this huge root that it's growing it was this size maybe two weeks ago and just look at it right now which is so cute and dorky right so it was disappointing in the way that it doesn't have any variegation obviously i have a backup a very beautiful variegated monster from my sister she got it for my birthday so it has a half moon leaf which is the newest leaf so this is so cool and awesome right but at the same time i wish this was variegated as well but it wasn't and it, it's okay but at the same time it's it's bugging me <laughs> okay <laughs> and let's go to the last houseplant of this very positive video right guys so this this will be another online purchase and it was from the very same store that i bought the Cebu blue so this is a sensiveria black coral and it doesn't look that black which is disappointing annoying but I, if I would go in the store and see it the way it is and bought it, I would be completely happy. It's a healthy plant, it has a bunch of beautiful new leaves, it's growing new leaves as we speak, right? These are the newest leaves. But when I was buying it from this online store, on this online store picture, it was completely black, guys. It was this dark 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 green almost like zz raven but not as much black if you know what i want to say so i was so disappointed i actually unboxed it on my channel as well and when i saw the color i was like uh, isn't that very similar to trifostiata because i do own a couple trifostiatas i'm looking at them right now and they're pretty similar so this was really really disappointing because I saw this plant online and I fell in love with the color but then I got it and it wasn't what I thought it was. So I was catfished in other words. Okay, I just my boyfriend just came back home so anyway so these are top five house plants that are real disappointing and at the same time I love them I know that they are fighters and who knows maybe everything will be fine at least with four of them I'm still not sure what's going on with this cacti so we'll see how this will go but yeah sometimes things doesn't go the way you were planning or expecting and this is completely fine so I just wanted to share with you things that might happen during your houseplant parenthood and since I have a bunch of houseplants I have a bunch of different experiences with them and some of them are bright and joyful and like oh my gosh on the heaven number seven or whatever you say in English <laughs> but sometimes things just doesn't go the way they should you know <laughs> 
Okay, before leaving you guys, I want to teach you another language lesson and this time, since we're talking about disappointments, let me teach you how to say disappointment in Russian and in Lithuanian. So, if you want to say disappointment in Russian, you need to say Razočarovanie. Pretty difficult one, right? Once again, Razočarovanie. <laughs> it sounds, sounds like a spell, isn't it? So, Razočarovanie. Я очень разочаровалась, когда получила эти цветы. Let me translate it. I was really disappointed when I got these houseplants. Я была очень разочарована, когда получила эти цветы. It's in Russian. <laughs> and if you want to say the same thing in Lithuanian, disappointment in Lithuanian is nusivilimas. Once again, nusivilimas. So in whole sentence, I was really disappointed when I got these houseplants would be Aš buvo labai nusivilus, kai gavau šitos augalus. Once again, Aš buvo labai nusivylus, kai gavau šitos augalus. <laughs> okay, this is it, guys. This is it. This is another language lesson for you. And right now, I, I'll be honest, I was pretty sad all this morning long. I have no idea why, but it was just happening, you know? So my boyfriend just came out of gym and, and he came in and said, you can say to the camera that after working hours, we'll go plant shopping and buy a special plant for you. So you won't be this sad. Goals, am I right? <laughs> okay, guys, so next video probably will be about houseplant shopping, but for this one, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, to comment something, and I will see you very soon. Bye.